It's your girl Planet Tie on deck. I hope you guys are having a great day, afternoon, and or evening whenever you guys are seeing this. So I'm here to pick up the goof troop, right? Here's the goof troop. I don't know if you guys can see these people, okay? But um they're taking a long time and they better get in this car because there's traffic behind me. Can y'all see the traffic behind me? They better get in this car talking about mom, come get me. I need a ride. I'm outside. I go in front of the place. Explain to me why I see nobody in front of Target. Okay, on the so, little side of Target, in these little benches, crapped on by the bushes. Oh, who do I see? Two faces look vaguely familiar. I'm saying, y'all. But um, so this is this is a part of my journey right now. This is my right now moment. I am taking, picking these children up and getting them out of Target. Now, what did you do in Target? Window shop and get coffee. Okay, 16 year olds these days. That's what they want to do in Target is window shop and get coffee. And for the record, Penelope drinks too much coffee. She does. She drinks too much coffee. Just saying. Just putting it out there. Her business in the street is she drinks too much coffee. See how I'm busting you out? You're welcome. Just saying. All right, you guys. I'm going to drive down the street. Take. Yeah, what? All right, you guys, so I'm going to tune back in. I'll be RB. Newark is not the closest yes, thing. So the conversation, on, <laughs> delete the that conversation, Mom, no, delete the, the conversation that we're having right now is Penelope wants to, um, oh my God, with that loud ass music in this big ass truck. Anyways, Penelope wants to go, um, where do you want to go? To New York. To another city over from where we live at for our Halloween because she has it in her head that there's going to be some kind of Halloween festivities like a um what do you call that she said a haunted house oh a walk at haunted house walk through scare house okay thing about that is I don't know about this because I'm not even into scare houses Halloween is my least favorite holiday but it doesn't mean that I didn't celebrate it and I still allow her to celebrate it just you know whatever else but um yeah, what I'm thinking about is that, you know what, those scare houses are usually going on pretty late, and then I would have to leave the, you know, I'm not, I don't know that I want her to be in a different city from me in case something jumped off. You guys let up the comments and let me know what you guys think. Halloween is one of the, not just the freakiest days of the year where people do crazy stuff and they pick up their crazy, but um, also, you know, um, if some jump, stuff jump off, it's like you can't get to, you can't get to them as quick. So that's my whole reservation with it. You guys let up the comments and let me know if you guys have plans for Halloween, if you guys are doing something, if so, if it's in a city where you live, or do you guys like to travel abroad and get your Halloween boogie on? Now, Penelope was originally laughing at me when she saw me with this knit hat on. Let me tell y'all something, guys. It was cold this morning, but by the time she saw me with the hat on, it was this afternoon. But I was like, but it's been cold on and off throughout the day, and I like to, you know, kind of like to stay warm minus the warm weather i like i like to be warm just not in warm weather if that makes sense at all um uh what was i gonna tell y'all oh i don't know so i guess i'm gonna get up off of here penelope you got anything to say to my folks at home huh what you say can't hear you <laughs> okay well i guess that means she's not in a talking mood right now all right, you guys, I don't know if I'm going to come back on today or another day, but for today, hey, how y'all doing? Hopefully, everybody's having a good day. Um, I'll check back in with you guys later. Mm, road rage. I wish I could have showed y'all that because it was real stupid, but they was also oh serious. Okay, y'all, I'll be RB. Okay, you guys, parent pet peeves. So I'm over here in this little shopping century, right? And I dropped Bestie off um, at Subway. She wanted to go ahead and get herself a, like a tuna sandwich or something. And then my baby girl Penelope's in the car and she's like, oh mom, there's Quickly's. Can we go get Quickly's, right? This little place we can get whatever kind of food they serve because I've never been in there, truth be told. But I think they serve maybe sandwiches, rice bowls or something else like that. Well, anyways, I'm like, yeah. Anyways, as she's getting out the car, parent pet peeve, I hate to see grown men 
staring at my damn teenage baby. Okay, I understand that you know people are going to look at whatever else this and that, but it's just it's to, it's irritant to me when I see grown men my age or older and they're staring down my like very lustfully or whatever else just staring down my baby it pisses me off because i'm thinking on all the things you on all the things you could be doing and all the people you could be saying why are you picking on babies you know but then again i realize that people have all kind of messed up shit in their heads everybody ain't you know playing above the belt and some people really do got that short eye and it really irritates me it really does just saying i do not like it at all but anyway, so I'm watching, I was watching this bastard watch her and I'm looking like, okay, I hope I don't have to get off this car because please let her walk on by her business, okay? It is not that serious. Anyways, you guys like the comments if any of you guys are parents at home or, or caregivers or loved ones of teenagers or preteens. And you guys know what I mean about that, um, that whole short eye thing where grown ass men, you know, are just checking your kids out. And how do you feel about that? What do you do when you see stuff like that? I usually try to make my presence known, especially if they get, not if they're walking in and keeping it moving, it just kind of is what it is, but I try to usually make my presence known if they are trying to do too much, like if they're trying to talk to them or trying to whatever, I'm like, I usually stop it, like, yeah, go on, stop, knock it off. Anyways, I think I'm about to take you guys with me, because I think I'm going to walk into this little plaza over here and see if they got a, um, see if they have a, um, a mango drink, so I guess y'all can, y'all, come aboard. All right, y'all, I'm gonna leave this door unlocked just in case Bestie or uh, my baby girl Penelope try to get in and I'm not here. But y'all don't tell nobody that I left it unlocked, okay? Because I don't need nobody trying to show out or get their sorry ass in my car. But anyways, let me go see if this little... You see that place right there? It's a little smoke shop. I thought it was a, um, a corner store. Like a little corner store, but no, that's not what it is, you guys. It's a barber shop over there that I just passed. Now, there's a subway where Bestie is coming up. There's a, what do you call this store? It's like an Asian store. Then there's a Arabic store. Like a, they call it the Midwest Market. I went in there before, you guys. They got spices that are spicy. Hi, friends. <laughs> All right, they in there, y'all. Bestie and Penelope are in there. I'm gonna come in here right quick and see if they got this mango drink. Hi, how you doing? Doing well, thank you. Let me see if they got any of these. Um, looking for these mango, mango iced. Oh, and I probably should get a coffee for Bestie for tomorrow because she's really into the coffee. And I can't drink coffee no more these days. Oh, these are beers? I don't think they have them. Not the canned mango that I was looking for. Don't look like they have those. It's like the Arizona iced teas, but the mango ones, they don't, but they have these. It's two for three. Oops, I didn't mean to get y'all that close to your girl. So I'm gonna grab two of these. Although well, I do prefer the can ones, but I usually don't get my Arizonas from this store because I usually don't kind of store like that. But um, yeah. And I saw something, I was watching somebody else do a vlog. Um, because I'm a vlogger, I watch vloggers, and I seen this one wine that they had in a vlog, and I said, Oh, if I could find that, I am trying that. I really want to try it, but I don't see it. I don't see it. So, but if I find it, I'll try it. And if not, then NBD. Put it on NBD, no big deal. But for right now, I guess I'm just going to get these mangoes. Yeah, I'm just going to get these mangoes. I don't see the other stuff. Anyways, I'm going to pay for this in cash, so y'all hold on. still charge for bags. Oh. Thank you. So I got this. Hold on. Let me grab my little 
mangoes. I'm gonna go check out with um I'm gonna go check out these were two for three dollars, so I got two of these. Um <clears throat> oh the sun is blinding, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and see. Oh, there they go, there go the squad. You guys finished? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was about to go to so she got you gonna go to Marita's? Who's waiting on you? Mm, I got, I got, you got, oh, let me, can I show them what you got? Put your drink in here. Penelope got this boba drink. You guys, I can't stand these. I cannot lie. I'm going to tell you why. I don't like the little bubbly things at the bottom. I don't. They, it's, the consistency turns me off. So she good. loves them. Wait, you guys are going to go to, okay, I'm going to the car, okay? I don't want to. I don't want to go to Marita's. You guys, I don't want to go to the bakery with them. Why are they making me go? I, I don't. I really don't want to go to the bakery. But they keep forcing me. You guys see how somebody could put your hand, hold your hand on the front. Oh, it's just right here. I don't want to go to the bakery. No, I don't. Oh, yes, you do. Well, really, I don't. I want to go sit my ass in the car. In the car, look at me. Don't it look like I want to sit in the car? <sighs> and that's why I didn't want to come in here, because I don't want to get no sweets. Because I'll be wanting to be good. It's a strawberry lemonade, and she's right. It's a strawberry lemonade. It is. This is so young. I wanna, I wanna go sit my tail down. That's what I wanna do. They won't let me. Okay, guys, I'm gonna jump up off the here. This is getting heavy. Hi, how are you? Okay, let's see what Bestie gonna get. See, I didn't even want to get nothing, y'all. This is how I get peer pressured. They only got one of those? I want one of those too, yeah. You see how she bullied me into getting a strawberry lemonade muffin? But let me tell y'all, these are the bomb. They're good. They're so good. I wanted to try the birthday cake one. Well, try it. The birth one for And then Penelope told me she wanted to try the birthday. She's so, this girl like a toddler. I'm gonna tell you why, cause she really don't like, oh, she don't really like sweet stuff like that y'all. So for her to get something, she's be the pickiest one. She'll try a little bit and she never finishes the stuff, you guys. You guys ever know somebody like that who really get into sweets like that, but they get stuff and then they never finish it. Y'all light up the comments and let me know y'all thoughts. And you are the only one who likes birthday cake. Okay. So I'm going to, against their judgment, I'm going to the car, okay? Cause I want to go sit down. <laughs> so I'm going to the car. Well, come on, come on, little sprout. <laughs> she won't let me kiss her on camera, y'all. What kind of child is she who won't let her own mother kiss her on camera? No, I'm gonna go sit down and drink my um mango drink. <laughs> She might not want one, but then again, I don't know. Y'all, um, I guess I'm just vlogging today. I don't know that I'm doing a story time. I guess I'm just taking you guys. I jumped on a camera real quick. I forgot why. Probably to tell you guys hello and just have you guys be a part of my world because you guys know that's what I do. Like, as a vlogger, I just jump on and say hello. Um, I am getting ready for, like, it's fall now, right? So I am getting ready for, like, different fall festivities. You know, we have, okay, the obvious Halloween coming. I'm not the biggest Halloween person. May do something. Probably won't do a whole lot, to be honest with you guys. And then I have, I mean, we have um, Thanksgiving in front of us, which Thanksgiving I am more so looking forward to because you get to be, you know, more so with family and friends and kind of vibing that way. So I am looking forward to that a little bit more. I don't know what Bessie, you look like she got some more stuff in here. Then she wonder why I say I want to go sit in the car. But anyways, um, I am more so um, looking forward to the Thanksgiving festivities. I want to get into that. I want to do the whole little family friend thing. Well, my family is my friends, <laughs> but you know, that type of thing, that energy. Anyways, it looks like these good people is coming out of here. So I'm going to go, and I don't know that I'm coming back on today because I probably won't. But anyways, um, if you guys are new here, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So anyone and everyone that your girls out here vlogging and just taking you guys with me on my day to day and I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Hey, any questions for your girl? Light up the chat. Light up the comments. Light up the comments. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to know your thoughts. 
um, <clears throat> and I'm sure I'll have a story time or a true crime coming to a theater near you for you guys soon. Like I always say, there's always another story to be told. But for now, bye.